Hey, I'm back. This is Aaron. Um, I want to talk to you about, well, being a teacher for the last four years, I've seen a lot of different trainings come around. Um, I've talked to a lot of people who have done plenty of teacher trainings. Um, and I know a lot of people that lead teacher training. So what I want to talk about in this video are a couple things off the top of my mind I can think about that um, you should really consider when um, you are inquiring about where to do your teacher training. Um, because it is a significant um, commitment in terms of money, um, at least, at least now, at least, at least two thousand dollars. Most of them are like three thousand, four thousand plus. So, you know, it's not something you just want to like do uh, casually. Um, so, first off, uh, you really want to love uh, the people leading the training. So you're going to be around these people for uh, one hundred plus hours you're gonna be literally listening to them for a long time. So you really want to make sure that they have tons of information that you want. You vibe with them, meaning you like their personality, you like their style of teaching, you like their, you know, you like the way they smell. I'm actually kind of serious, because if they're gonna be, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm half kidding, you know. Um, so you really wanna really, really love the people doing the training. Number one. Number two, um, you, this is off the top of my head, you know, I think you should really, it should just feel good. It should feel like a really good decision. Now, I'm more of a feeler, you know, obviously all the logistics have to work, obviously. I mean, it has to work with your life and your time schedule and it has to be a good time in your life to do it, yada, yada. But you, you really just have to, when, you know, if you close your eyes and think about doing a teacher training with, with, a specific company or this this uh, you know this this studio has to feel like a good thing has to feel like a really good thing and um, like I talked about in a previous video you know why is it that you're doing teacher training you know why are you doing why are you investing hundreds of hours of time and thousands of dollars um, why because a lot of trainings will um, they will well, it's their job. Now, um, studios may get angry at me for saying this, but it's not like it's a secret. Studios make most of their money by doing teacher trainings. They make most of their money by leading teacher trainings. It's, it's how they make the majority of their profit. Um, if you don't believe me, I mean, think about it. I mean, <laughs> you know, I know studios that do one training a quarter. Every three months, they're leading a teacher training, okay? So let's we'll say you get 10 people paying $3,000, you know, that's $30,000 a quarter, that's 120 grand a year. Um, it's significant, it's a big chunk. Um, so the reason I say that is, is to not get sucked into, um, you know, all the hype. A lot of studios have a lot of hype when it comes to their teacher trainings. You know, they'll say things like, uh, they'll say things like, uh, like, you know, just, just do it because, you know, it, I don't even know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of hype, you know, and they push it and they sell it and, you know, and they'll take you out and buy you coffee and they'll, and they'll, you know, and they'll basically sell you, they'll yoga sell you, you know, yoga selling is even, is even more, you know, you know, scary than other selling because, you know, that selling, you know, they talk about organic food, you know, and you, it's, you don't even see it coming. Yoga selling is scary. Wink, wink. Anyway, I'm just kidding, guys. So, um, yeah, I mean, just, just to really just, you know, if it feels good, do it. But I can tell you what, like, don't expect to get a job after your teacher training. Don't, don't expect to get a job. Don't expect anything from the studio. There are so many people doing teacher trainings. Now. There's so many new teachers out there. And um, from my experience, the, uh, you know, the yoga market is growing, but it's, at least around here in Southern California, it's not growing as quickly as teachers are being pumped out. You know, um, not to talk bad about it, but you know, I, I've 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 heard it been called like, you know, they just try to get as many people in, as many people in, as many people into the training as they can, and then they send these people on their way. You know, and a lot of them are like, well, I want to get a job, I want to start working. All right, you you get one class a week. You're like, all right, um, can I get another? They're like, no. And, you know, that happened to me when I, when I did my training, the studio I did the training at, it was really bad. The studio I did the training at, you know, 
I don't want to get into the details, um, but I, uh, you know, I had an internship, which means I did 30 unpaid classes, 30 unpaid classes. I taught without getting paid. Um, and then I didn't get a class and it was really, really kind of annoying and kind of hurtful. So just, just know what you're getting into before you do it. Um, I'm not talking bad about it. You know, yoga has been, teaching yoga has been one of the most powerful and rewarding things I've done the last four years, hands down. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's been really, really awesome to be on that side of the, of the equation, that side of the relationship. Um, but, you know, just make sure you love the teachers. I'm going to wind up, make sure you you love the teachers <clears throat> uh, leading the training. Make sure they have a lot of information. Make sure they're skilled. Make sure they have a lot of um, a lot of value. I would not suggest doing a training with someone who is a new teacher. There are studios that have trainings, and these trainings are led by people who just last year, just the year before, maybe two years before, they themselves graduated from teacher training. I wouldn't do it. You're spending too much money. You want to you want to work with teacher or teachers who have been teaching honestly minimum five years because there are just things you can't learn without five years of experience five years of touching bodies five years of seeing different shapes and sizes and you know working with different kinds of people and um if i were to go if i were to do it again i would you know find teachers who who uh yeah again five years minimum they've been teaching or more, you know what I mean? Honestly, if you can find a really experienced teacher, 10, 10, 15 years they've been doing trainings, dude, it's it's worth it. In my opinion, it's 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 worth it. And the and the most important probably is just someone who you vibe with. So you want to find a teacher who who you want to teach like, because at the end of the day, they're going to be teaching you and they're going to be teaching you how they teach. They're going to be transmitting their knowledge in a way that works for them. So you're going to end up kind of teaching like your teacher the trainers so if you you got to take these people's classes many many times in order to know is this a class that i want to be teaching like is this a style that i could see myself teaching um yeah so don't rush into it i mean do your due diligence don't rush into it find out all the trainings in the area you know talk to the people um, go out to, you know, if it were me all over again, I mean, I don't regret what I did. I, I, I had a great experience and I wouldn't take it back for anything. But if I were brand new, I would, um, take minimum five classes from each of the people leading the different trainings. Um, and I may even, um, go out to lunch, you know, take, not even take, I wouldn't pay for the lunch. <laughs> uh, I would just, you know, Ask them if they wanted to, you know, hang out. Hey, I'm looking at your teacher training. I'd really like to talk to you some more. Um, I'd like to go over some things. I'd like to know more about your experience, more about, you know, really what you offer, what, you know, why you're doing trainings, what you bring to the table that's different, and really what can I expect uh, investing for $3,000, you know, because you're paying them. So, yeah, that, that, I'll leave it at that, guys. So, um, should you do trainings? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're awesome, and you're going to get a lot out of it. Just make sure you are very, very comfortable, and you know all the things I talked about, and you just feel good, you know? Don't rush into it. Don't get sucked into the hype, you know? If they're pushy, and they're naggy, and they're like, you know, buy it now, I, honestly, I don't, I wouldn't want to be around that. Um, so, you want to find somebody who basically, you know, they don't need you. You don't want, you don't want a trainer who needs people to join their training, um, it just isn't good energy to come from. So, all right, all right, friends, this is Aaron. Um, I'm not sure which station I'm going to post this thing that I posted on my Rip Body Yoga station. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Talk with you soon.